the fast pace of change in national development in countries across the world, especially over the past three decades, has been driven by paradigm transition towards thinking globally and acting locally. Successful national growth and development have therefore been accomplished under inherently deft, visionary and people-oriented national policies and strategies. The Nigerian state had foreseen the need for qualitative input into the national policy-making process by 1979 under the administration of the former head of states, General Olusegun Obasanjo. Hence, the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, also called the National Institute or NIPS, was established by Decree No. 20 of 1979, now Cap N51 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. The institute was conceived as a high-level institution with the primary objectives of serving as the nation's foremost policy think tank to develop a crop of top-class technocrats of high intellectual capacity who will conceptualize and anchor the implementation of innovative and dynamic policy, initiative and strategies critical for national development. The National Institute serves as a high-level center for reflection, research and dialogue where academics of excellence, seasoned policy initiators and executors and other citizens of mature experience and wisdom drawn from all walks of life meet to reflect and exchange ideas on the great issues of society particularly as they relate to Nigeria and Africa within the context of a constantly changing world. We wanted it to be the highest learning institute in the country, particularly in terms of policy and strategic thinking, learning and discussion, dialoguing. We wanted this highest institute not to be seen in terms of huge building, not to be seen in terms of the height of the edifices, but in terms of the content and the product. Number three, we had always seen ourselves in terms of development in silos. The civil service, a civil service, not much interaction with the military. The private sector is even on its own. So can we have a situation or a place where these four or five that are essential in the development program of the country, the civil service, the military, even the politicians, politicians, the civil service, the military, the private sector, the academia, where they can have a robbing of the mind. The National Institute, amongst other things, conduct courses for top-level policy makers and executors drawn from different sectors of the country with a view to expanding their outlook and perspectives and stretching their conceptual capacity and qualities of discernment and analysis, thereby helping to improve their overall performance in their different fields. Organizes and carries out on an interdisciplinary basis in-depth research into the social, economic, political, security, scientific, cultural, and other problems facing Nigeria 
with a view to contributing to the search to their solutions. Conduct seminars, workshops, and other action-oriented programs for leaders and professional bodies and other groups with a view to promoting, defining, and enhancing the appreciation for long-range national plans and objectives. Publishes books, journals, monographs, and other materials in the interest of the nation as a contribution to knowledge and for a better national and international understanding. The mission of the National Institute is to serve as the center for policy, advocacy, advice, and training for Nigeria, West Africa, and Africa in the context of a dynamic and changing world. Its vision is to be the apex center for policy, research, and reflection for a better Nigeria and human society. And the motto of the Institute is towards a better society. The National Institute is located in a beautiful and serene environment by a lake in Kuru near Jos Plateau State and is accessible by air, rail and a good network of roads from all parts of the Nigerian Federation. In wild website of the National Institute is www.nipsskuru.gov.ng To underscore its importance and functions, the National Institute is a federal power starter in the Nigerian Presidency. At the top of the organizational chart of the Institute is the Board of Governors charged with giving general directions and governance for the Institute. The Board of Governors consists of a Chairman, the Director General of the Institute and nine other members including the Chief of Defense Staff or other senior member of the Armed Forces, an eminent economist, an eminent political scientist, the advisor to the Federal Government on Science and Technology, four persons to be appointed by the president being persons who by reason of their ability, experience or specialized knowledge on administration or of professional or business attainment are capable of making useful contributions to the work of the institute. The board has a specific responsibility to consider and approve on behalf of the presidency the long-range plan of activities for the institute, the program of studies and research to be undertaken by the institute, the annual budget of the institute, and the investment plans of the institute. It is also to ensure the submission of an annual report on the activities of the institute and its administration including audited account for the preceding year to the President. Since inception in 1979, the Institute has had seven Board of Governors, chaired respectively by Chief S.O. Adebo, 1979-1982, Mr. S.O. Wei, December 1982-February 1983, Chief M.O. Annie, April 1983-1985, Major General IBM Aruna, 1985 to 1993. Major General G. O. Ejiga, 1993 to 1994. Dr. Sylvester Ugo, 2002 to 2006. Professor Dakum Sean, February 2006 to October 2006. Lieutenant General Saliu Ibrahim, October 2006 to 2008. Major General Paul Ufoma Omo, 2009 to 2015. Ambassador Ignatius Longjam, 2018. And now the current interim chairman, General A.G. Oloni Shakin. The chief executive of the National Institute is the Director General. He is appointed by the President and responsible to the board for the day-to-day -day management of the Institute. He is assisted in managing the daily affairs of the Institute by three directors, the Director of Research, the Director of Studies and the Secretary and Director of Administration. 
and other principal officers who are answerable to him on matters concerning their respective directorates and departments. Since its inception in 1979, the National Institute has had 11 Director Generals as follows. Major General T.B. Obundeko, 1979 to 1981. Professor Justin Seayo, 1981 to 1984. Major General C.B. Indomo, 1984 to 1990. Major General Paul Ufoma Omu, 1990 to 1992. Professor Mohammed Nor Al-Kali, 1992 to 1999. Major General Joseph Nanven Gaba, 1999 to 2002. Major General Martin Chukudi Osaho, 2002 to 2005. Venerable Professor Akin Akin Doyeni, 2005 to 2008. Professor Ahmed Damfulani, 2009 to 2010. Professor Tijani Mohammed Bandi, 2010 to 2016. And currently, Professor Habu S. Galadima, 2019 till date. Professor Abu Galadima, the current Director General, is an eminent professor of political science and holds a PhD in International Relations and Strategic Studies. He was the Director of Research and Chief Operating Officer of the Political Party's Leadership and Policy Development Center of the National Institute before his appointment as Director General by the President in July 2019. The National Institute was established in 1979 to serve as the nation's foremost apex think tank and to serve as a high-level center for research, for studies, uh, for dialogue, and also to serve as a center for reflection. In the last 42 years, um, one can say that the National Institute has made its mark. It has trained high-level bureaucrats, technocrats, academics of intellectual excellence uh, and we are awarded member of the National Institute. It is one institution that has produced a number of former presidents and heads of states. It has produced top level uh, uh, traditional rulers in this country. The National Institute has also produced quite a number of top-level economists and um, people that have been contributing uh, to the economic development of this country uh, and so on. Vice Chancellors, quite a number of people have come through this National Institute and they have made their contributions in various dimensions uh, to the development of this country. The Director General is assisted in the management of the institute by directors and heads of the department who are answerable to him on matters concerning their respective directorates and departments. The institute is organized into directorate, department, and centers. The directorates are Directorate of Administration, Directorate of Studies, and Directorate of Research. The Directorate of Administration is headed by the Secretary and Director of Administration SDA and it's made up of the following departments Works, Medical, Human Resources, General Administration, Hospitality Services and Bursary. Each of the department is headed by a very senior administrative personnel or professionals. Talking about human capital development, the products of the National Institute, because the Institute was established to produce policy analysts for the country, people who will go on to develop policies for the country. If you look at from course 1 to course 40, the numerous people, about three head of states, have been, have been products of this uh, institute. 
aside the head of state, they have gone to produce ministers, senators, a lot of policies in government have emanated as a direct product of the tasking by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces to the National Institute. The Directorate of Studies is headed by the Director of Studies, assisted by directing staff and other senior personnel. The Directorate of Studies has uh, rather been the main driver of the National Institute and the flagship program for um, the uh, Directorate of Studies is the convocation of the senior executive course, uh, which we are this year by the grace, grace of God, we are running the 42nd course. Uh, our statutory responsibilities in, in uh, the Directorate of Studies is to conduct training program uh, to up the capacity of both the public service and the private sector and to find a common ground that we should be able to articulate and formulate uh, very efficient national policies. And I think to that extent we've succeeded and I'm happy to say that uh, the Directorate of Studies is continuously expanding, uh, looking at uh, other strategic areas where we can bridge the skill gap of uh, the public and the private sector. Uh, and I think to that extent we've succeeded. The Directorate of Research is aided by the Director of Research and is organized into six departments, namely Political and Social Studies, Economics and Management Studies, Culture, Language and Media Studies, Defense, Security and Strategic Studies, Science and Technology and International Studies. Each of the departments is aided by a senior fellow. One of the mandates, you know, is to, uh, for the research department, is to do research. Um, research that will help in advancing uh, public policy. Um, research that will help in addressing, you know, the problems of the, the nation. In the past, the, the directorate has um, researched into various areas. Um, amongst them, uh, issues of the stability of Nigeria. Uh, issues around um, um, the economy, um, issues revolving around foreign policy, um, issues of conflicts, um, issues around health, uh, issues of equity and um, gender related matters. Now, um, and, and, and many more. And what the directorate has often done is to um, engage in field research, um, collect data, and uh, develop uh, uh, policy recommendations you know, out of the research. What we do is to um, share these findings with government and also we design uh, policy briefs and, policy, and write policy advices to government, um, the presidency most of the time. And sometimes, and most of the time too, we, we send um, this policy advice to the ministries, departments and agencies at the federal level, at the state level, and to some extent at the local government level. So you would um, see that what we often do, basically, you know, is to fit government, you know, with the needed um, research findings and, and, and policy advice, not just on national issues, but also on international issues. The National Institute currently has three centers of excellence dedicated to research and studies in vital areas of national life. These are the Political Parties Leadership and Policy Development Center, the Center for Financial Economics, and the Center for China Studies. These centers are under the office of the Director General and focus on the area of research as indicated below. As a contribution to the deepening of democracy in Nigeria and Africa, the National Institute has a training center known as the Political Parties Leadership and Policy Development Center. The center is specially dedicated to building the capacity of political parties to operate professionally and effectively. The Center for Financial Economics was conceived as a research-intensive academic arm of the National Institute 
focused mainly on bridging the gap between the theoretical and empirical understanding of the dynamics of financial economics, with particular focus on sectoral policy management and governance issues. The center was established in active collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria CBA, Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation NDIC, and the Deposit Money Banks DMBs in Nigeria as major critical stakeholders. The Center for China Studies was commissioned on Thursday, 27 February 2020 by the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China. His Excellency Dr. Zhou Pengjian. The center was established as an extension of the bilateral cooperation between China and Nigeria and to promote understanding between both countries. The importance of this center is underscored by the fact that China has become Nigeria's largest project contractor, second largest trading partner and major source of investment. The National Institute Library serves as the repository of knowledge in the Institute. In other words, it is the outfit that assembles all the information resources that the Institute requires in order for it to fulfill its mandate. Uh, the National Institute Library, like I said, is the liveware of all academic activities in the National Institute. It serves the faculty of the Institute, which includes senior fellows, directing staff, and of course, the participants of the senior executive course. And I, as the Institute Library, in my capacity, I usually give them a lecture on how to use the library uh, and in addition to that, I give a lecture on how to use internet facilities in order for them to enable them to conduct effective research. Uh, we are in the process of converting all our documents into digital format. In this case, uh, an institutional repository is being created in which all the study tour reports, all the lectures that I presented by our guest lecturers, and all the memos that are circulated within the Institute will be digitized and made available to the Institute community and even scholars beyond the Institute. As Nigeria's apex policy think tank, the National Institute often partner with some important organizations in the pursuit of its mandate. One of such partnership is with Development Research and Project Center, the RPC. Others include the Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution, African Economic Research Consortium, Nairobi, Kenya, United Nations Development Program, UNDP, European Union Support for Democratic Governance, and several others. You know, we pride ourselves as um, one of the longest um, uh, serving uh, collaborators of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies. Uh, we've been able in partnership with the National Institute to, to train about 278 uh, senior executives to effectively deliver uh, policy issues uh, related to health, education uh, and gender equality for Nigerians. The flagship course of the National Institute is the Senior Executive Course, SEC. The course lasts for 10 months from February to November each year and admission is strictly through nomination by sponsoring organizations and approval by the Office of the President. The program of the course is organized into eight modules. Understanding the Nigerian State Research Methodology Leadership, Policy and Strategy Science, Technology and Innovation Economic and Management Studies international relations, defense and security studies, peace and conflict studies, in other words, the crisis management. The senior executive course is organized by the Directorate of Studies in conjunction with other directorates and departments of the National Institute. 
participants are divided into study groups, each headed by a directing staff. Directing staff are very senior and highly competent military or police officers and seasoned academics and technocrats. With respect to course instruction, the very rich experience and expertise of both in-house experts as well as those of guest lecturers, drawn from all sectors of the society, are trapped to stimulate the thinking of participants. Seminars, discussions, group research work, and tours all feature prominently in the course. Their principle of non-attribution is operated during lectures at the National Institute to provide a free atmosphere for discussions. During each course, various study tours are undertaken, namely a local tours which involves visits by participants to various states within Nigeria, a tour of selected African countries, an intercontinental tour of selected countries outside Africa, and a tour of strategic institutions in Nigeria. The study theme for each year is provided by the Nigerian president on a topical issue affecting the nation. At the end of the course, participants are expected to present a strong policy paper at a party with the president based on their research findings. Participants who fulfill all requirements of the course are awarded a certificate entitling them to membership of the National Institute. MNI. Apart from conducting the senior executive course for top policy makers, the National Institute also has the mandate to conduct short courses in policy, strategy, leadership, governance, and development related issues with a goal of building and enhancing the skills and capacity of middle to top level management officers in both the public and private sectors. Towards fulfilling the objectives, NIPS Consult was established in 2007 to harmonize and coordinate all consultancy services of the institute and conduct short-term capacity enhancement and development programs. In this respect, it organizes the policy strategy and leadership course, as well as other short-term capacity building programs. While all these intellectual activities help to deepen participants' reasoning and thinking capacity, the National Institute also makes provision for leisure activities. The Institute has a standard golf course, football field, lawn tennis court, and a well-equipped fitness center to ensure that participants and staff of the National Institute stay fit and healthy. A very important organ that has grown out of NIPS is the Alumni Association of the National Institute, ANI, which is an umbrella body for all graduates of the senior executive class. The Alumni Association was set up to promote the noble ideas of the National Institute as embodied in its motto towards a better society. In this respect, the association seeks to promote understanding, unity, brotherhood, and cooperation among the members and strengthen the relationship between the association and the National Institute with a view to maintaining synergy, strengthening interaction with the federal and state governments of Nigeria, as well as organizations with similar objectives. The National Institute alumni 
include some past presidents and head of states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, highly placed traditional rulers, state governors, ministers, captains of industries, respected diplomats, and other eminent citizens from all walks of life. Alumni Association of the National Institute. I think it's one of the novel uh, association that you can talk about in this country, which has contributed to uh, growth and development of Nigeria. It's one house that I see after you leave Nibs, you, you, you belong to a family, a family that you are protected, you are secured, a family that will fight for you, a family that believe in Nigeria, believe in oneness and the unity of Nigeria. You never see somebody from Annie who will be talking about uh, tribalism or sectionalism, except he didn't go to that institute. And uh, if all the R&D done in NIPS for 40 years is been looked into and updated because time, we're in the 21st century and in the fourth industrial revolution, so things are changing. Nothing is static in life, so you expect things to change. And if they go into most of these R&Ds, Nigeria will be better than what it is today, if implemented. We have committees on defense and security, we have committees on health, we have committees on education, we have committees on government, we have committees on drugs, challenges and what have you. So, and in each of the states, we have chapters of ANI. So members, you find valuable members. We are just there to add value to make our society better. And I think since the establishment of uh, NAPES in 1979, it has done a great deal in contribution in governance in this country. So by and large, I would say the contribution of the National Institute to Nigeria's national development aspiration has been well and good. And uh, there are a lot of things that have been done and, uh, in the archive. So by and large, I would say the National Institute has done very well. So I think uh, the Institute has been doing a lot because it, uh, it gave us a lot uh, to think about. It gave us a lot of opportunities to be the best we can be and to contribute to the country's development and I think uh, we still have a long way to go. I was a pioneer student uh, of the Institute in 1979 when it came into existence. So in a sense um, uh, I feel a sense of emotion that 40 years later we're here uh, to talk about the Institute. That is, uh, the Institute has lived for 40 years and uh, I congratulate the Institute and of course um, wish it uh, very many more years of uh, productive service to the community um, in the future. I'm always very happy every day that I was able to go through NIPS and NIPS has been able to go through me. You see what I learned there for that one year Help me a lot in life. I will honestly say the Institute has done a lot of very good work. So we must not dampen the enthusiasm of the National Institute. We must keep encouraging them and appealing to government to make use of the materials. Even if uh, the recommendation will want to carry a broader view. They could table them before the generality of Nigerians for comments and from whence governments will be able to ensure that the proper thing is done. The reason for introducing and establishing the institute to me uh, is very, very loud. That's going to work long way uh, in helping us some of the products uh, I've engaged so many of them in government. My head of service is a problem. Mm -hmm. Many of my commissioners, yes. the director, research, and uh, mm -hmm. documentation. If you go to the Federal Executive Council, there is, I doubt if there will be any Federal Executive Council in Nigeria that will not have, have a product from Nigeria. And if that is the case, 
I think that even uh, the president should make, make a kind of timetable that once in a while retreats are done here in Nips. The Federal Executive Council should be doing retreats in Nips. That's the highest institute we have in the country. Through Nips, many policies were developed, many recommendations were formed. So there is a need. Our collective aspiration is to see that such policies that will come up with this should add value to what we are doing now in the country, especially in the areas of good governance, with a view to addressing the good costs of all the problems that we are having now. The National Institute had a tremendous impact on me, all round impact upon me. It has tremendous impact. The processes to streamline you and put you under pressure of what you can achieve. Uh, it teaches you a lot of skills, people management skills, resource management skills, that is really, really very important in decision making and leadership in this country. But in NIBS, I came across uh, people from all walks of life, from the para paramilitary, some permanent secretaries from some states, and then some from the private sector. So it was a mixture that uh, uh, anyone who meant well for this country will delve into and then take maximum advantage of it. If we have the political will, I can assure you most of our problems have been solved by the researches conducted in NIPS. The is capacity building institute and the National Institute of is a place where the horizon That's one of the beauty of Kuru. Mm -hmm. So you, you are taught of uh, having strategic values. Mm -hmm. So that you don't have it before. Mm -hmm. Now to really have a professional strategic thinking mm -hmm. so that when you are contributing to an issue or you are even making presentation, that badge is not a fluke. You know that this is a well-trained strategic officer. Mm -hmm. I must say that um, those of us who found ourselves you know, in NIPS were very privileged. So NIPS was conceived um, for the development of strategies, strategic policies that would um, enhance uh, a better society in Nigeria. So that, is the ultimate, that was the ultimate goal. The people that have come through NIPS, in spite of the experiences that we have gathered, there is a difference when they come out there. And whatever position they coming in contact with others for the first time. And I think one thing that I can say about that video is that was the first place that I would make friends with virtually the three Nigerian tribes in the large numbers. I had a lot of Hausa friends, Igbo friends, other people from other states. Then it also afforded me the opportunity of even knowing the military uh, customs, farm set, and I said, ah, this is a wonderful thing to happen. Has the Apex Institution for Research Reflection and Learning in Nigeria, the National Institute, remains dedicated not only to the generation of excellent leaders, but also to the production of men and women who will put them into practice towards a better society. The National Institute aims to be one of the top three think tanks in Africa by the year 2025. Towards realizing these important aspirations, management of the National Institute has put in place measures to strengthen its research reflection, training and publication endeavors, as well as its partnership and collaborative effort with similar think tanks in Nigeria and outside the country. Our plan going forward is that within the next five years, the National Institute will be among the top three think tanks of repute in Africa. And um, we have a strategic plan in place to help us accomplish that. 
we are going to go into intense research intense research in policy and strategy that will enable us to accomplish that and so we are going to assemble high level researchers that will network with top level research institutions all over the world and we are going to have MOUs that are actionable. Uh, we are going to have exchanges that will enable us to accomplish that task. And we are going to raise funds uh, uh, to be able to support our research. And indeed, we have planned to set up and establish an endowment fund that will enable us to accomplish that vision. If Nigeria gets it right, 10 years from now, we are talking of the year 2030. Um, National Institute should be one of the uh, instruments, one of the major instruments of contributing to where Nigeria should be going. And where Nigeria should be going should be what? By the year 2030, we will be looking at where we are with sustainable development goal, um, 17 goals. Nigeria should not fail in any of those goals. And for Nigeria not to fail in any of those goals, not to fail to achieve any of those 17 goals, we have a lot, a lot to do. While the National Institute has contributed immensely to the national development as Nigeria's APES policy think tank through numerous evidence-based policy recommendations as well as through constant, constructive engagement with policy makers at all levels, the dynamics of changing global environment underscore the need for the institute to reimagine its role and reposition itself for increased relevance in the policy arena. The National Institute is currently implementing its strategic plan 2019-2023. to The plan outlines the clear strategies to optimize human capacity and physical infrastructure to strengthen the delivery of its senior executive course and other special programs aimed at providing answers to various developmental challenges in the country. Management has also put in place various initiatives to enhance its online presence and provide open access to research and learning resources as a strategy to enhance visibility of the Institute. Meanwhile, as a consequence of its repositioning agenda, the National Institute has continued to attract top scholars from the nation's foremost academic institutions. The Institute also continues to enjoy immense goodwill from the government and all the stakeholders in the Nigerian project in the collective aspiration towards a better society. Thank you.